Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel. I am Randy Lene and I'm a product manager at Panther Hoffmans in Venlo. In these Tech Talk videos, we like to provide you with some quick information about our products. Uh, today, the, this episode is about the CO2 selector. I am here with Frank. Frank, can you tell us something about uh, this device? Yes, of course, I'm happy to be here. Thank you for your introduction, Randy. CO2 selector, an instrument for measuring CO2 non-destructively. Non-destructively means your package goes into the instrument and you can measure it over and over again without destroying the package. So it doesn't have any influence on the package. But the instrument itself is thought to be used for PET bottles and glass bottles. And the principle of the measurement is based on laser technology, non-contact technology. Laser technology starting with a laser. laser brings the, the light through the headspace of the bottle. In the headspace there's CO2. The laser is specially chosen for absorption of light by CO2. So the less signal which is measured from the light, the more CO2. So that's then the value for the partial pressure. And then we are measuring infrared, the temperature. The temperature is then temperature, pressure measurement, and based on temperature and pressure measurement, I will be able to, to calculate the CO2 content. Typically, the application of this instrument is at a production, production, either soft drink production or beer production, and also for shelf life testing. You, you said already it was a non-destructive measurement. What are exactly the advantages of a non-destructive measurement? Yeah, non-destructive measurement, of course, means that the package can be used over and over again. <coughs> it even can be put back in the line, so that means less waste. But furthermore, if you look to a bottle with a swing top, or if you look to a measurement of a bottle with, for example, a natural cork, these bottles need to be opened before they can be measured. And in this case, this is not to be opened, so we can measure it without destroying the package, without opening the bottle. So how do we measure cans? Yeah, with regard to cans, there's another issue. With cans, we cannot measure because the laser is not strong enough. And this is a safety issue with regard to the laser, because if we would have a very strong laser, it's not safe to use the instrument. So that's the reason cans is a no-go. Okay, and you also just said something about shelf life. Can you explain yeah. that? Also with regard to shelf life, well, I have two bottles. I have one bottle of, please see two same bottles. What is the difference? That is much softer. Yeah, this bottle. bottle is much softer and this is hard. Well, with this instrument, we can check the quality of the bottle. For example, if you would be in a shop, which bottle would you sell? I would only buy the hard bottle. The hard bottle, yeah. exactly. And this is a possibility to check with this instrument what is the difference between the, the two packages. So, how, so does, please, how does that work? Please put the bottle in the instrument. The instrument is prepared and the instrument itself will tell you how this instrument needs to be uh, adjusted for this typical bottle. Okay. So I will go to view products. And at few products, it tells you that the stage should be adjusted on 329 millimeters. So please adjust the stage. Mm -hmm. At 329 millimeters, the way the, the path through the bottle is approximately 51 millimeters. So then the instrument knows how much CO2 it will meet, how long the path is. Please put the bottle in and I will prepare the instrument for measurement. And perfect change, uh, prepare the bottle by shaking the bottle to an equilibrium. Putting the bottle in without heating the bottle up with your body heat and I start the measurement. And this takes approximately 5 to 10 seconds. So we see here this has a volume of 4.12. What does this exactly mean? Yeah, 4.12 volume means that there is a substantial quantity of CO2 in the bottle and the quantity is 4.12 times the volume of liquid. So in this 2 liter bottle, there is more than 8 liters of CO2 present in this bottle. Let's see what the soft bottle brings. It's installed and I will start the next measurement. So this is much lower. Yeah, it's only 1.5. So we saw 
that the 2.5 is lost. And there you see, would your, if you, you see the difference. Now, looking back to the bottles, the soft bottle. This is the same effect that you'll see if there is only a little bit left of, uh, of beverage in the bottle. Would you drink this? No, nobody drinks it. Nobody <laughs> drinks it. And that's exactly. the thing, the bottle is wasted. And that's the thing also what is happening with this instrument, checking that the quality which is supplied is within specification. Okay, sounds very interesting. Frank, thank you for that explanation. Uh, if you like to know, would like to know more about our devices, please go to our website or check the links, uh, check the links below. And if you would you like to see more videos, click the notification bell uh, and uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, Frank, again, thank you and see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.